plan. So today we close out our series by discussing what should be in your written plan. It's not enough to just think about that evacuation plan or who you might contact for help. Writing it all down can help ease stress in those chaotic moments before, during, and after a storm. It also makes sure everyone in your family is on the same page. Some things you want to write down include your step-by-step -step evacuation plan, including written directions to your evacuation lo location. Don't assume you'll be able to use the GPS on your phone. You'll want to write down the list of things you'll need to remember before you leave and their locations. Hopefully most of it is in your emergency go bag, but anything that you're unable to pack away for the season should be listed so that you can remind yourself to grab it. You'll also want names and phone numbers for critical contacts written down, including any doctors, emergency resources in your area, family, friends, neighbors you'll want to check in on, and at least one contact outside of the impacted area. Critical documents, or at least copies of critical documents, should also be kept with your plan for easy access if you need to evacuate quickly. And make sure you share the location of your written plan with family members or others who may be living in your home so everyone knows where to find that information if it's needed. We appreciate you joining us for Hurricane Preparedness Week, and you can find more information and rewatch all of these segments on our website, WXII12.com.